Hi, first graders. This week, we are talking about homemade musical instruments. These are really exciting and fun invention inventions um, that you can make with the supplies in your maker bag. You've probably made some shakers before, maybe um, with your family or maybe um, at your nursery school or your preschool. This is two cups together with um, metal pieces in it. This is um, just a container that still has a top and it has rice in it, um, but you should try all different kinds of um, grains and objects, shells, gravel, sand, and smaller containers and larger containers and see what they sound like. And you can even reuse that rice afterwards. I also made um, these rain sticks, which maybe some of you have made before. This one has a very gentle sound. It's made with a small grain called quinoa um, inside, which makes a gentle sound. And then this one that one has lentils inside it. And the way you make this one is um, you take a, a cardboard container and then inside you roll up, I, this is a piece of tape on the end, but inside the key to making the grains move slowly or more slowly is to wind up um, a piece of paper or tin foil on the inside. Um, go, you crumple up a long piece of paper um, or tin foil, newspaper, uh, wrapping paper, anything into a long um, coil, the kind of the same length as the as the tube, and um, you put that in there, and it makes the grains go a little bit slower. And then you cover it, and you can make it look beautiful and decorated if you want to. I did not, because I kind of like the way the cardboard looks. And I've tried different materials on the ends um, to see if that changes the sound. Um, and you should try that too, because um, it's kind of interesting. And then you might need a grown up to help with the rubber bands at the end, or you can also um, tape it, tape down the material at the ends. Um, I taped on this side. I think that's a really beautiful sound. There's some, um, I made some drums and these drums are made with, this is actually a can of tomatoes and I left the side bare because um, I love that, but I love the sound too. So that, these are drumsticks that I made with um, a cork and some chopsticks, but you could just use a pencil. So that's pretty cool. If you use a broader um, cylinder, like an oatmeal canister or a bucket or something like that, um, you'd probably need a much bigger balloon. Or you could find a different kind of surface, but it has to be very, very strong you could use duct tape and some other kind of um, rubber or sheeting to make that kind of drum. But this is just a balloon and you go like this, you take the balloon and you cut it off kind of right before where the, the narrow part meets the broader part. You cut that off and you stretch it and stretch it and stretch it a bunch of times and then you place it over that. Now, um, there are some other, I made some rattles. These are the tops of squeezies that I always keep because or like a recycled material. Um, but you could try anything that you can string. When I was walking yesterday, I found these beautiful um, seed pods. And they make such a great sound. I hope I'm gonna figure out how to make a rattle with them soon. Some other really fun things are, there are a lot of people on the internet who are showing how to make a reed instrument um, with straws. And the key to that is that you have to have the tips um, stay pretty close together. So this is a drinking straw. You cut off the sides at an angle and, so that you make a tip and then you use your teeth to flatten it out. I'm trying to keep these two together and then that part, this is a bendy straw. This is the top part of a bendy straw. Then this part goes in your mouth and you have to blow really hard. It's pretty awesome. Um, and you can experiment with those. There are other ways to make it into something that 
um, has other tones, you can bend the straw and cut a little bit there and bend it again and cut a tiny little divot out there and bend it again and cut a little tiny divot out and see what happens when you change essentially what would be the length of this by making these little punctures and putting your finger over kind of like um, a flute. Then the, on, that, on a similar vein is this beginning of a pan flute. Oh, that's my laundry. This you'll need a grown up to help with because you have to fuse the bottoms of the straws uh, with heat. So that's something you would need a grown up to help with. I did not try to see if I could do it with tape. You might be able to do it duct tape. Um, but you graduate the straws and then So it, it could be pretty wonderful. There are really excellent videos online about how to make a pan flute out of straws. It does help to have them spaced apart. Um, and if you measure and you, ch you change the increments um, gradually by two centimeters or one centimeter, you know, you can change the sound of them so that the, the note is closer together. And you can also modify it a little based on the sound that you hear and what you want, make it a little bit shorter. <laughs> anyway, if I were a musician, I could make that something really special. You can um, go online and get uh, different applications to help you tune it even. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Now these are some really excellent string instruments made out of pasta boxes. In order for it to create sound, there needs to be an open space with air underneath for the vibrations to make a sound. This is a small pasta box. I took the plastic off. I actually turned it inside out because I wanted the plain outside. And I actually I put a painting on the inside because I didn't want to see um, all the text from the original box. Um, but this is just three rubber bands and um, they were easy to wrap around, so you could definitely do this yourself. You can do it with a tissue box. If you have a cereal box, you cut out a hole, but then you need a grown-up's help. Um, but a tissue box or a pasta box like this works pretty well without doing very much to it. Then you wrap the um, rubber bands around, different sizes of rubber bands, different widths. And then you can change... It changes as you move the cork further away or closer. And if you put it on an angle, it does the same thing. It's really kind of awesome. So you should definitely try that one at home because they're really fun. And you, can, you don't have to have a cork. You can use, um, I use a marker for one of them. Uh, that was pretty great. A big dry erase, a big fat dry erase marker um, to create some space and to also increase the tension between the. Um, I don't have it now, but that's what you're gonna do. This one is also a pasta box. This just happens to have four strings instead of three. I did the same thing. I put a painting of ours on the inside just to make it kind of look more beautiful. Actually put a rubber band right here um, to try to make it more stable. And it got a little deeper. And pitch got a little higher. So if you used um, a different kind of line or I uh, use like fishing line or guitar strings if you happen to have them, um, it would sound different. And you could use different kinds of rubber bands that are stronger or looser and then it changes. You really kind of want to get them as tight as possible um, to have the sound be consistent. But I thought those were just such beautiful instruments. Um, I hope that you guys make some with your family today. You can find really wonderful uh, videos um, online about how to make them. Definitely the drum is pretty satisfying.
and the skinny towel drum was less satisfying. Um, oh, that's the other one. You can use a piece of corrugated cardboard to have a kind of washboard effect. That's kind of fun. And if you have a member of your family who's a willing participant, you can create a little band together. Um, uh, with some of these great instruments, definitely try to make uh, all the different parts so that you can test out all these different ways of making sounds at your own house. I think that's pretty fantastic. Don't forget to um, keep them with you so that the next time we meet, we can share them and maybe we can even play them together uh, the next time we meet. Or you can have your parent record what you did so we can all share it and learn from each other. Okay, have fun.